plan A to Z. Plan A to Z. You know, there are some things that must be put into consideration and in place before employing and leveraging on other people's money, OPM. Because we are talking about the life of people here. Money is people's life. They spend their time, which is part of their life, in making the money that you want to leverage on. You've got to have a plan. Proverbs chapter 24, verse 27 said, Prepare your outside work. Make it fit for yourself in the field. And afterward, build your house. Build your house. That is telling you that you plan before you start to build your house. So before you go out to borrow anything, you need to prepare first a plan of how to get the money and the interest paid. You must have the repayment planned out. You must do like God who always have plan A to Z on every issue. You got plan it this way and the devil seems to win. He will move on to plan B and that's why the devil can never win. God is a master planner. You know, he has 1,001 ways to fight a battle. So you need to follow the steps of your father. You must have a plan so you won't turn to a wicked person. Because in Psalm 37, 21 says, The wicked borrows and does not repay. But the righteous shows mercy and gives. The wicked borrows and does not repay. It is a wicked person that borrows and does not repay. Hence, it is pertinent to have a plan of refundment, what are the things to do before going to borrow? You need to engage in three types of thinking. Three types of thinking. Number one, convergent thinking. Like, what is the probability that the business will succeed? You must have at least seven answers to, to this question. You must be sure that the business will be a success. And this will help in fueling your boldness and send fear packing which can paralyze a businessman since you know that fear paralyzes its victims. So you need to engage in convergent thinking. Think positive. Think positive about the business you want to start and it's going to work out. But don't forget to do number two which is divergent thinking. You ask questions like what is the probability that the business will fail? Also identify seven reasons. And ways that the business can fail. You can get this done by asking the what if questions. <laughs> because as much as you should be positive, you must also be realistic. Uh, posi- positivism can be to the extreme when you don't give room for realistic thinking. As much as you want to move mountains supernaturally, you must not neglect the natural laws that must be overcome. The one thing can move after acquainting yourself with the supernatural forces that can overcome those natural forces. So you need to engage in divergent thinking. Ask questions. What if questions? What if this happened? What if, what if this happened? What if this happened? How am I going to go about it? Then you do number three, which is capacity thinking. Capacity thinking. That is, if the business fails, can I repay the money? Do I have an asset base to cover for the loss? Can my capacity cover and bear the risk of the loss? So you've got to identify several ways to refund the money should the business fail and you lost the money. So there are some amount of money I would not advise you to borrow if you operate as an individual, not as a registered company. Why? If your company is registered. I'm not talking about business name here. I'm talking about PLC or limited liability company. Because should you lose the money, you will not be charged to court. The company will be charged to court. So you need to be wise. So think positive. Do convergent thinking. Think realistically. Do divergent thinking and think capacity. And you will never find yourself in a Waterloo as far as leveraging on other people's money is concerned. Shalom.